Hello and welcome back to my tutorial for Uto Beginners. The last three videos gave you a brief overview about what Uto can do and how to use voice banks. At this point, you know how to insert a voice bank and use a UST with it. But you probably also want to do the thing that Uto is best at in contrast to Vocaloid. Make your own voice bank. Now, if you mm, if you um, look back at Teto's website. Um, let's look at these abbreviations again that we only, well, just mentioned in the last few parts. Um, if you want to record your own UTU voice bank, there are several ways how to do it. And there are a lot of files about which is the best, which sounds the best, and which everyone should use. I personally don't want to take a stand on that. So I'm just gonna, but I am just going to give you an overview about the different recording styles you'll probably run into the most. Now, the recording style is basically how you arrange the different um, samples you want to use in your voice bank. The voice bank is technically just um, a bunch of samples, each of them being um, each each syllable that's possible in the Japanese language so that the program can reassemble them. Now there are different ways to do it and um, many different languages but the Japanese one is usually the simplest to do because it, uh, the Japanese language does not have that many syllables. I think only about 150. That, that may sound like a lot now but believe me as you get more into UTU, this will sound like nothing to you. Now, the different recording styles there are, um, well, there are a lot, but the ones you run out into the most are CV, VCV, and CVVC. Now, CV is um, the simplest of all the recording styles. It's um, literally just um, all the 250 samples and syllables I mentioned before by themselves. So um, one file is just ka, nothing else, or ta, sa, ki. All those syllables are their own file and are um, are recorded by themselves. Um, that's that's why it's called CV. C stands for consonant, V for vowel. Consonant, vowel. Simple as that. It is the easiest way to do and usually the thing that um, beginners should use because they are the easiest to learn and to master. Now VCV um, going by the pattern we saw in CV, um, vowel, consonant, vowel. That may sound a bit weird but um, basically it's instead of having ka ta and sa by themselves, you instead insert a, a vowel in front of the syllable. So instead of ka, it's aka, ika, uka, eka, and so on with other syllables. Um, that, ki that kind of allows the, um, the samples to blend into each other and make the um, transitioning from one sample to the, to the other sound more natural and fluid. Many say this is actually the best recording method to use, but I don't want really to want to take a stand on that, so let's just sit it like that. It is not something you want to start as a beginner, so I really recommend going to CV. CVVC, um, CVVC is um, kind of a combination of VCV and CV, um, but it's a bit harder to do, so I also don't recommend it. Instead of um, aka, ika, um, and stuff like that, or just ka, um, it combines, um, you basically have um, here the consonant, the vowel, but you also have vowel consonant, which sounds really weird, but basically it's, um, instead of having aka, you have ak ka if that makes any sense to you. As I said, it's relatively complicated. I personally don't have that much experience with it, but um, 
people mainly use it because um, unlike um, VCV, it has a lot smaller file size and but still kind of gives the same fluidness that VCV has that CV does not have. Still, I do not recommend it as a starter bank. I would only use it if you have an experienced YouTube user who knows how to use CV, CVVC with you to teach you how to do it. So since this is a beginner's guide, obviously we're going to make a CV voice bank. Now, how do you make a CV voice bank? Obviously, since this is a, a very vocal thing to do, you need a recording program. Now, first you need a kind of a list of what syllables you want to use. Now, you could just Google um, a list of Japanese syllables and, I don't know, open, open Audacity and just record as you go. But I do not recommend it. Instead, I recommend you a little program called Oremo. What Oremo basically is, is a program that has, that was kind of tailored to record voice banks for Uteu, which obviously is better than just opening a list and doing, um, and recording it in Audacity where you don't really know what you're doing most of the time. Um, Oremo includes a lot of um, plugins and tools that helps you make a good voice bank. So I really, really recommend using it. Making a voice bank in Audacity by itself is not a bad thing, but it leaves a lot of room for errors. So I really recommend you downloading Oremo. Now I will include the link to this um, in the video description. And basically you just go here to Oremo, set parent we will use later, but um, first you, um, right now you need Oremo. You will go to this page and down, you need to download this here. This is a newest build of um, Oremo. You click this link and it will bring you to the site I showed you before. Now the Mm, the best part about Oremo is it has an English translation now, so no Japanese everywhere and you don't get anything. So just click um, click the English version here, click it, and it will download for you. The download will start automatically at some point, so don't don't worry about that. I already have a download the no, don't download though, so I don't need to download it anymore. Basically, you just drag it into a place you want. Here I put it into my special folder for recording voice banks. Unpack it. Find the .exe file. Click it. And here's Oremo. Now using Oremo might seem a bit weird if you have no idea what you're doing, but um, it's really easy to use. Okay, so here you have the um, here above you see what your sample is called. The mm, um, the best part about the new Oremo is um, it gives Western users who don't know hiragana the chance to um, save their files as hiragana, but still here as you um, if you go through all this. You see that um, there are Roman, uh, the translation of the Hiragana is um, written in Romaji right underneath it. It will still save the file as, um, as Hiragana and as what you see here, here, but um, you will know what to say because the translation is right underneath it, which is really cool if you don't know how to read Hiragana which chances are you probably don't or you don't have the time to learn it. Now, if you want to, now that you, now that you have the program, you can actually just start recording. If, if you want to record, you need to press the R button. As you can see here, it records what I'm saying right now. But we don't really want that to be um, 
to be the file we use in Uhio, right? So um, it if you just want to override it, just press the arrow button again and do it properly. If you want to hear what uh, what your sample looks like, you just press the space bar. Give me a second. I will um, I will record the sample now. Ah. Uh, and now we want to hear it. Uh, sounds pretty nice, doesn't it? Um, to save this file, you just go to your arrow keys and hit down. The file is saved in the and it's in the folder scene here. If you want to pick a different folder than the result folder, then you just hit this and pick the folder you want to save it in. Um, for the sake of the tutorial, I would just leave it in the result folder. Now, um, basically you have the program, you have everything you need. You can start recording now, but be sure to pick a pitch you are comfortable um, talking in an extended period in. Because you will be here for a while, depending on which method you wanted to, do you, you wanted to use. Even with CV, if you're not experienced, it's can take several hours for you to finish recording. Um, so things that can help <laughs> that can help you record that I can only recommend is the show F0 function, which shows which pitch your voice is in right now, and the pitch guide, which um, if you pick the, the pitch here, you pick the note here, and in which pitch it is in here. Um, you, uh, once you figure it out which um, pitch you want to talk in, you can just hit here and kind of be reminded what it sounds like. For people who are basically tone deaf like me, this is really, really helpful. So if you have problems um, staying on one pitch, I can only recommend it. Another thing you you want to do while recording in Odemo, which really helps, is show the target um, show target tone. If you haven't seen that, go to sh go to options, advanced settings, show target tone, and then you can here pick which target tone you want. Here, as you can see, I am um, my pitch is. Like, um, which is also kind of a thing. Once you have a pitch you are comfortable with, you might want to find out which pitch exactly it is. Here for me is A, A cross three. So you can also put it into your pitch guide and you can always listen to it again if you forget your pitch. So let's go record some samples in here. E. As you can see, it was a bit off pitch here, so I listened to it again. And I just press R again and re record it. E. It's a bit better here, but. E. This is better. It doesn't need to be perfectly on pitch, but the more on pitch you are, the better your voice bank sounds. So you just continue to do this. As until you have the entire list full. Now, personally, not everything um, on here, not everything on the list provided by Odemo needs to be in a voice bank, but if you have any doubt, it's better to, to do too much than too little. So as a beginner, I would really recommend um, just going through the recording list you have here and just save everything. And if you look at the result folder, all your files will be saved here. So, so this is basically what you can do in Odemo. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it actually. And so have fun recording your voice banks. Um, in the next part, I will tell you how to configure your voice bank to make it um, sound good and, and usable in Uto. So I hope I see you in the next part. Bye.